Hi there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd do a little video for you on this Amarin stuff that's come out from Portugal. Now, it's nothing major I don't think, but I just think it's interesting just to touch on because you might get like a sense of like the personality of the guy, do you know what I mean? Um, so one of the articles is around Sporting looking for their replacement for Amarin if he was to move on. And then the other one is... Amarin's reactions to being compared to Jose Mourinho. So let's do the first one first and talk about the first. So basically, um, it's been reported in Abola that Bayern Munich's Anthony Barry could be the one that could replace Amarin at Sporting. Um, they basically make it clear that Sporting are in no they're not panicking regarding Liverpool's interest, um, despite Liverpool redoubling their efforts to get him. And basically it had been intensified in the English media. Um, it is said that the coach is well protected with a contract, this is Amarim, until 2026. And then they're saying that he has the 20 million euro release clause, which is, I think about 17 million pounds or something like that. Um, so they've got some security there. And then it goes on to say that there's two other papers, the record, which is something I hold in high regard, like they seem to be the one that's always on it regarding players. And Ojogo, or Ojogo, depending on how you pronounce a J in Portuguese, uh, came up, they've come up to dismiss the other part of the weekend's claims, saying that they've basically spoken to official source, sources from Sporting who have denied that they, they have any interest in Barry. And those same sources, however, did not dismiss Liverpool's chase for Amarim, so he continues to be looking. He continues to look like a real option for Liverpool. Um, so you've got to think there's something in that, basically, in regards to them looking for replacements and everything like that. Um, I believe that they're obviously, you know, I, I think, guys, just to point it out there, that the whole Amarim thing is basically a lot further on than we're being led to believe. I reckon that Liverpool are allowing Sporting to get stuff in place in regards to a replacement. You know, if he's got this release clause, all Liverpool have to do is pay it and Sporting can't stop him from going to Liverpool. Just like a player transfer, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think Liverpool are trying to build a decent relationship with Sporting. Give him time to... Give them time, sorry, to basically get their ship sorted out who they want to come in and everything like that. And, you know, I don't expect we're going to hear anything on the manager's front, guys, in, you know, in a sort of official announcement for a long time to go. Yet, there's Liverpool are focused on winning the league, Sporting are focused on winning the league and also the Cup in Portugal as well. Like, they've got a big week this coming up. I think tomorrow night they're playing Benfica in the second leg of the Cup. And then I think they also play Benfica again at the weekend in the league. So... They've got a really, really big week of them this week coming up. Um, so yeah, that's that article, guys. Next up, it's the Ruben Amarim quizzed on being the new Jose Mourinho. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to read this out to you. So it says here that Amarim spoke to the Portuguese media and was reported it reported by O Yoga or O Hoga, however you pronounce that. And the rumours about Liverpool ended up being one of the subjects in the press conference. The coach has been asked about being called the special one 2.0 and was quick to say that's not something that excites him. And there's some quotes here from Amarim. Uh, it has nothing to do with it. It makes no sense. I have no illusions about it. I still remember last year, everyone was speculating about whether I was going to leave sporting. There are no comparisons between the great Jose Mourinho and the sporting coach. And that's the end of his quotes. And it just goes on to say that Sporting are currently top of the Portuguese league, with Amarim having a big chance of leading them to his second league title. So he surely won't want to be distracted right now. There is a 20 million euro release clause to take him away from Sporting before 2026. The manager and his club seem really relaxed about the whole situation. Amarim even joked about reports Sporting were looking for his successor. While the prospect of a move to Liverpool may be real, it is certainly not rocking the Portuguese club right now. And to be fair, guys, it's as simple as that, isn't it? 
If Liverpool want Amarim, they pay the release clause and it's done. So that's why I think everybody's just relaxed about it all and chilled. There won't be no long drawn out process of, ah, uh, you know, well, we're going to interview you and we're going to try and, you know, get the price down and blah, 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 blah. He's got a release clause. You pay it, it's done. If he wants the job. Do you know what I mean? So that's that, guys. And that'll be the end of the video. You know, there's, it's a very quiet time at the moment at the you know with the whole Alonso thing happening last week I do think that it might be a bit of a quiet week this week um we've got some games to look forward to as well so we do have that to cover and you know what guys I think I might um start doing some previews and reviews of matches going on um I know it's a bit late in the season to do it but it's coming to that point in the season where it's going to be a little bit hectic and everything isn't it so I might just start doing it, guys. There won't be long videos. There'll be short videos. Um, and then I have got something in mind that I might do once the season is over, you know, for the whole transfer window and everything like that. Um, I might start doing, like, some live streams, going over the rumours and everything later on on a day, you know, more like in the evening and stuff like that. Um, if you're interested in that, just let me know down in the comments and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if you are interested in me... Sorry. <coughs> If you are interested in me doing that. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there, guys. If you uh, let me know in the comments what you think about all this with Amarim. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.